Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death from Above. Today, I want to talk about a pulse rifle, a legendary pulse rifle, the Vanguard pulse rifle. This is the Parthian shot. Uh, this is a high impact, low rate of fire pulse rifle from the Vanguard. We're going to do a legendary max video on it today. So what I like to do in my legendary max videos is go over a gun in Destiny, talk about it, talk about the stats, go over my version. We'll do a little PvE and PvP gameplay where I'll give it arbitrary grades based on my own experience and what I prefer. And then we'll uh, talk about if it's a fun gun or not. So if that sounds like fun, let's strap in, hold on, and let's go. So the Parthian shot. Let's take a look at it. So it is the Vanguard Legendary Pulse Rifle from The Rise of Iron. It reads, who's got the last laugh now? And I did a little research on the name Parthian Shot because it was interesting to me. And I found out it is a military tactic where uh, archers on horseback would feign retreat. So like an armies, armies would be fighting. Uh, they would feign like they were retreating. And as the archers are on the horseback running away, they'll turn around in the saddle and fire arrows back at the pursuing army. Uh, it's a tactic that they used back in like 300 BC to uh, take out attacking armies, uh, over aggressive armies and stuff like that. So it's a very interesting uh, idea and uh, interesting name. So Parthian shot, that's what it means if you are ever curious. So that's why it reads who's got the last laugh now because it looked like you were going to get the last laugh. But no, it's me. It's also been attributed to parting shot. So two people that may be arguing uh, as they're like, all right, we need to stop arguing. I'm not talking to you anymore. You're an idiot. I'm out. That's a parting shot. So like you're leaving the conversation, but you have to get that last little zinger in there. So that's a parting shot. So Parthian shot and parting shot, the phrases are very similar, but you know, enough of that. Let's talk about the gun. So it is a high impact, low rate of fire pulse rifle, uh, pretty good range, pretty good stability and pretty good reload on paper. Looks like it'd be a pretty strong gun and we'll get into more of the performance in a minute. Uh, so base stat wise, it has some pretty good stats. The aim assist is pretty low though. The equip speed is pretty slow and uh, recoil direction is not the best. So it's not a very fast gun, it is a, but it is a hard hitting gun. Um, so my version, I got this to drop. It has uh, the reflex sight, the quick draw sight and the OEG scope. Pretty, I like the OEG, but I left it on the Reflex because of this approved aim assist. Mine comes with Oi of the Storm. Eye of the Storm. I went Australian for a second there. Eye of the Storm, Partial Refund, Small Bore, Lightweight, and Head Seeker. The thing that made me interested in this one is it has Head Seeker, and it's a high-impact pulse rifle. Head Seeker on high-impact pulse rifles, in my mind, should be pretty good, right? So... Uh, I leave it on Eye of the Storm because partial refund just doesn't sound like something I'm really interested in. Magazine size is at 24 because of small bore. It would be at 27 without it. But 24 is still big enough for one-on-one -on -one engagements in PvP. And in PvE, the bursts are so uh, slow and powerful that 24 in the mag, I never had a problem with the mag size. So uh, that always kind of worked out fine for me. Small bore uh, gives it extra range and stability, which is nice. And Head Seeker gives that extra punch of damage when you uh, hit, hit a land a body shop first um so that's my version let's get into some pve and pvp gameplay so in pve this is not generally the archetype of weapon i like to use in pve in pve if i'm going to use a pulse rifle i'm going to use a faster firing pulse rifle something i can kind of hit multiple targets quickly with this one i felt like each shot you had to fire the shot wait for your trigger to come back and fire the next shot now if you were accurate and you were hitting the right spots you could get crits all day this gun has insane range and really really good um headshot range like i was getting headshots from very very far away farther away than i expected i should be able to so it's definitely got the range going on for it so i was getting lots of good hits from lots of good distance but it just felt slow uh, it does have a slow equip speed, so that kind of adds to the slowness of the gun along with the rate of fire. The high impact tries to make up for it, um, but not so much. Uh, and so in PvE, you can take out enemies. You can hit headshots very, very easily with this gun. Uh, it may just be that I haven't used pulse rifles in a while, but I felt like I was getting headshots very easily with this gun in PvE. And PvE, uh, as far as bosses go and higher damage, higher health enemies, I didn't really like it. I felt like I was waiting on the next burst and the enemy's health was just sitting there. Now certain certain bosses, it would take off large chunks of health, uh, but it just was too slow for me. Just a little bit too slow in PvE, but I don't know, that's what I think about in PvE. I'm going to give it a C uh, if it deserves a grade even. For PvP, this is where I was interested for this gun because it has Headseeker, 
It has small bore and it has eye of the storm. I figured in PvP it'd probably be pretty decent because it's pretty strong. Now I will tell you the damage numbers that it puts out. It puts out 24 to the body, 34 to the head. Um, and I don't think that's with Headseeker active. It may be. Don't quote me on that. Uh, you'll see in the clips. If you just pay attention, you'll see what the damage numbers are. I don't have them right in front of me while I'm recording this commentary. But uh, I wanted it to be stronger than it was. And it just wasn't. There are many times where I felt like I should have killed somebody and I didn't. Um, it's really a three burst gun. Uh, if you get that first body shot and the rest of them are headshots, Headseeker may proc and you may get a two burst kill on a lower health, lower armored guardian. But most of the time you're going to have to three burst people, which for this slow of a rate of fire pulse rifle is no good because the faster rate of fire pulse rifles three burst people too and they can do it quicker. So you really want a two burst with this gun. So if you had glass half full or some other damage increasing perk reactive reload maybe uh, I would really like glass half full reactive reload on this one that would make it pretty pretty interesting um, so it needs, a, it needs a damage boost something to put it in that two burst territory give it that extra little punch something to put more damage down range uh, it, like, I said, it, like I said in PV it's a little bit slow it felt a little slow felt a little sluggish using it uh, it didn't aim fast because of the equip speed so I was just, I felt like I was behind the target sometimes, and it may just be me being not used to pulse rifles again, but even so, it was a slow gun. Now, comparing it to like my Lyad Mila D, uh, same rate of fire, same impact. I feel like the Lyad Mila does good, but it has, uh, I believe it has glass half full and it has counterbalance. So it's got, it's got the right things going for it in the right places. All the other pulse rifles I used are higher rate of fire, lower impact pulse rifles. So uh, it's a slow pulse rifle. It's got a lot of punch, but you need you need a little bit more help to get those two burst kills on this gun. So for PvP, I'm gonna give it a C as well. I didn't really like it. So, uh, is it a fun gun? <laughs> I don't see how two Cs can make a fun gun. Uh, at least not in this variation. Maybe if I get get a different version with different talents, I'll definitely let it be a fun gun. If it is, but it's probably not gonna be. So, what do you guys think? Are you using the Parthian shot? Have you gotten one? What talents did you get to drop on yours? And do you like it? I was just interested to, to know what you have to say about this and what uh, what perks you have on your gun that you may think makes it good. I just couldn't get this one to work for me. So let me know in the comments which ones you like. And if you ever want me to take a look at a gun, leave it in the comment, and I'll probably get around to it. Or at least I'll let you know where it stands on my list. And if I have a video, I'll send it to you. So uh, until next time, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more and share the video if you want to help the channel grow because it really does help. And I honestly appreciate it. Uh, until next time, though, I'm Death From Above, and I will see you later. See you, bye.